Hi, my name is Kiri. I'm 25 years of age. I am a white man. And I get zero girls. Did you hear what I fucking said? I am a white man and I've done the right things and I've been yourself and you know, my personality shine through. And in the end, I got fucking nothing. Me, you, everyone as a whole gets no girls because of our race, because of our location, because of how we look. We are judged on our race. That's just what. So many people have said over my life and what I've seen on the internet countless amount of times. I want to speak to you personally for a sec, for you to understand my point of view and for you to get this important thing in your head once and for all, do you understand? Come a bit closer. We're talking facts right now. Put simply, are there regions of the world where your skin colour will benefit or hinder you? The short answer is yes. 100%. Is it a indicative, if that is enough fucking right word, is it a factor that will 100% confirm your results? 100% no. I'm Indian so I can't get girls or... I'm a black guy in Korea and I can't get girls. Yes, there may be certain parts, maybe even like being a black person in parts of Asia, or maybe being a white person, that will hinder, of course, and maybe being a white person in certain regions of the world may benefit it. Yes, there are parts, but there are people, if they've improved the product and are the elites of their ethnicity or of their nation, of their colour, what the fuck you want to call it, that do do, that are very successful. This idea as a whole is cope, and it's cope and it's Blackpool ideologies because you don't want to do the hard work. Now, half the people are probably switched off this video. Ah, f this guy dislike us. They can't accept the truth, and this video would never be for those people anyways because it is always the truth and it's reality. I am just like you. I don't want to work out. I don't want to work hard. I don't want to do these things, but I do want a better life. I do want an abundance with date, abundant dating life with women. I do want to be successful. And that's simply the price you pay. It's hard work. And looking in that mirror and becoming somebody that you're truly proud of in whatever way and whatever way you want and writing your story however way yeah. you want too many people give up and have this negative mindset i can't do this i can't do this but you're feeding your mind with fucking poison editors we'll put a few things on me maybe once like around 18 or 19 maybe we'll put one two things here that's me that's me that's the same fucking person you're seeing but it's a completely different mindset. And when I changed my mindset and how I thought, guess what happened? Everything else changed as well. Come a bit closer. I want to tell you something. I was speaking to this girl about a week or two ago. A Polish girl, okay? And Polish girls are quite sexy. But of course, she's lived in London, I think. From what she said, I believe her whole life or the majority or whatever. And we're going back and forth and whatever. And she's seeing my story. She knows I'm a bit of a f way player. This is, I'll put one or two things here, you know, with some girls or something. And she knows, like, I take the piss. And I know people see it and they think, oh, this and that. But in reality, they don't understand who I truly am because they don't give me a chance a day. But that's a convo for another day. But she sees all of this and I'll like, oh, play or whatever. So I'm speaking to her. She, you know, we're talking, whatever, I want to, I want to f obviously, I want to f that tight shit. And she's talking, yeah, oh, whatever, playing hard to get, I don't have time. And whatever, and she raises a concern. And come a bit closer. The concern is, oh, you're a f boy. You're this, you're that. And I'm like, okay, baby, can I ask you a question? And she's like, yeah. I was like, do you believe everything you see in social media? Da -da 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 -da. We talk a little bit more. And then she says something I'll never forget. 
calm, calm, calm. <sighs> she ends up saying, and I end up saying, men and women are different. They're different rules for us. You understand that, right? We're different values. Editors, we can put that graph there. Women peak when they're young and get all the attention. Men peak later on in life. And then if you don't uh, get, oh, get validated by girls or whatever you want to call it, um, when you're young, later on in life, maybe when, maybe when you have a family and you see that hot girl and you're that man now, you want to cheat and fuck another girl. Finances and um, infidelity are the two biggest reasons as to why divorces occur. Finances and infidelity. And she, I'm like, men and women are different. And she's like, no, they're not. We're the same. <sighs> what the f***? Uh, uh, excuse me. What do you, me. No, no, we're the same. I was like, what do you mean? Like, we're exactly the same. We should be treated the same. We should have the same rules, no double standards. Oh, okay. Okay. Cut a long story short, I saw Instagram, she's a pole dancer. It looks like she's doing like thing. And when I joked and said that guy I said people look at me and they look at me and assume I'm a f boy. Fair enough. And I said they look at girls like you and probably think you're ho, you're prestige, whatever. She took quite a big offence to that and I think it's because maybe she's doing some early fans. She's on a pole. F that ho, that's not the point. <laughs> the point is people in the West and certain parts of the world do honestly believe that men and women are the same. They do believe this type of stuff. And then, guys on the internet are seeing, because of their location and what they're living in, if you lived your whole life in maybe the US or the UK, the UK, London like myself, then you see these things, you're like, oh, that's why I can't get girls. It's because of my race, but it's not. It's the ideologies imprinted in the people. If you go to Brazil or Thailand, if you go to the majority of the world, guess what? Colombia, fucking Mexico, fucking Poland, Africa. If you go to the majority of the world, guess what? They understand that men and women are different and they understand that that's okay and we're not in competition. And we dance and we complement each other together. I understand why guys adopt this Blackpool mindset. And it's about my looks and it's about this and they give up. You can believe whatever you want with your mindset based on your location. But someday you're going to have to wake up to reality. The fact of the matter is your race can be a factor in certain parts of the world. But is it the biggest factor the answer is 100% no. The biggest factor is you, yourself, as the product. And that means getting in shape, looking good, looking after yourself, low body fat, sex appeal, etc. You've heard all the shit, money, status, whatever. And if you put all those small changes together and you go from a 5 to a 9 and you're still fucking Indian and you come to this country, and guess what? That 5 is not going to get as many girls as that 9. But it's difficult and it's hard. And I no because i don't want to do this stuff every day and i'm exactly like you i don't want to and i feel pain and resistance and i don't want to but i do it regardless of how i feel and that's what separates people like me and you compared to the people that will never achieve anything in their life your ability as a man to get girls to have a have a good life to be successful is in your hands it's right there Fix this mindset and focus on what's important. Not looking for scale, black pill and race and fuck this and I'm white and I'm black. Forget all of this shit. It doesn't matter. Focus on becoming better every single day for the next year or two, maybe even three. And you will improve and you will get more girls and you will have a better life. I can guarantee you 100% that. But you're not going to do it because it's difficult. And that's okay. Just step to the side for the people that will do it. Because there's a person and a man next to you will fucking do it. It's hard. It's reality. I had to hear this. I wish I heard this all those years ago. But I understand now what's required from a man. You can get any girl you want. You can have any life you want. You can achieve anything you want. It all starts with here. And looking in that mirror and being proud of the person you see. Any questions, let me know. I'm here to help you. Apologies if that was harsh, but I have to keep it real. 
and uh, yeah, I'm grateful for you. Thank you. If you want to fix your life today or have access to my free self-improvement guide, all links will be down below. If you also like one-on-one coaching sessions or like to learn from my Skillshare classes, all links down below.